it is freezing. Sun's going down already, it's only half three. Just finished. That's still sitting there with the filter if anybody wants to buy it. It's on Facebook. These are all happy, I've just done the filter clean. Uh, yeah, it's just very, very cold. But what I've done is just given these a quick sand. So these are the ones that are going to go on the back of the pond, so either side of my Japanese art that I've already got. So what I'm going to go down now is prime these up. They're treated timber anyway. I wouldn't dream of doing this um, with untreated. Um, it's going to be sitting in a moist area, although they will be sealed and painted. There is still a chance of water breaking in. So uh, yeah, so we've got them treated. Plus it's what I already had. But both of these are identical, completely symmetrical, and they're both going to be painted. I'll see you in a bit. Right, so we're they all frying there, look. Got a new net coming. I'll show you that when it arrives, if it ever arrives. Royal Mail on strike. Damn you. But yeah, so I just bought this one down, so got one goes either side, and then this one will come down across the back. But I'm just trying to be smart about how I fit these. Um, I want them to be easy to get on and off. Uh, if don't worry about the lid, that comes off underneath absolutely fine. But yeah, I'm just trying to think of a way. See, what I was going to do is I used to have it screwed here anyway, my old net, if you remember that. But what I want to be able to do now is literally just pick it up and put it down. Um, yeah, so no screws involved. No screw in this end, you know what I mean? But yeah, I'll come back to you. And what I was hoping was the joints in the slabs, because they're the easiest point to drill. I don't really want to drill through these in fear that one of them cracks. And then I really am screwed. Um, so yeah, so I'm just trying to fathom out. But I think what I'm going to do is put the bolts actually in the, the fence itself or the guard itself. And then core drill, couple down about two inch. So it go through the slab, through the bed, through the fiberglass and into the block. Um, but then it'll actually mean that it'll sit on top, if that makes sense. But I'll show you anyway. So if you picture a hole in here, that being on the bottom of the guard, it'll actually slot down in the hole. So when you want to take it away, all you've got to do is lift the whole thing and off it comes. And then that'd be the same this side. This won't be too bad because I've got two. Might it be one, two three a span five joints on this one so i'm spoiled for choice and to be fair on the other side because i've not got the skimmer you've got an extra joint that side so it'll be all right so this is gonna be the most difficult but uh, i'll come back to you in a minute so ct1 is good for everything so i use pu18 or pu28 i can't remember what it was on my pond window um, but i only did that for the cost saving but CT1, gluing around the pond, bottom drain, liner, whatever it be. CT1's your go-to. Pay that little bit extra, but she is golden. So what I'm gonna do now, so I've just called out two holes in the right place. So I'm just gonna blob a bit of this on the bolts, which have stainless bolts I've just cut down, and uh, we'll bury them in and let them dry. I'll be back in two ticks. All right, so there we go. Always remember, safety first. Got my defenders, got my glasses on. I ain't getting hurt. But hopefully, 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 this makes a bit more sense now. So stainless bolts, just chop them off. Uh, they're all buried. So I remember earlier I said, or the other day, I put these extra blocks in for a bit of support. Um, so that's just allowed me to core drill through. That one broke, so I've had to screw and glue it from the top, but it's okay, you won't see that. So now I'm gonna let the glue go off, a bit of CT1 in the bottom of them, and then uh, get these painted. But yeah, that's obviously, that's the front, the tidy side, the bit you'll see. And then they'll get painted in a minute. And hopefully it'll look lovely, and that's the back one's done. And then hopefully that spur me on to do the rest, but we'll see. That'll do for today. It's getting late. But yeah, so that's another, that's another two mocked up. So I was gonna, this goes down the side of the pond, so the 2.8 meter width. Um, but when I 
got the timber out, it just looked too much of a, too long a stretch. If I'm gonna have enough strength in it, it would have just bowed. So I've actually split it up into two halves. And obviously same as on the other side. So just cut the legs. So the stainless bolts, in they go. And then we could just uh, drill them in. The jobs are good and so these got to be sanded, these ones. These ones have sort of semi been sanded, but I'm not fussed about it being super smooth. It's an outdoor project. Uh, yeah, so I'll, uh, I'll come back out in the morning. Good thing is I've done my filter clean today, so uh, I ain't got to worry about that tomorrow. So me and my woolly hat, like a cola. Golly. It's that time of year. But yeah, so I'll catch you back out here in the morning, bright and early. We'll have some croissants and then we'll get out and work. See you in a bit. All right. Hello, next morning. Still rather cold. Got the heater on. So got this one prepped. So what I'm gonna do, I was gonna paint them by hand. And then I started the first one and I thought, do you know what, I can't be arsed. So I've just gone and been and bought 10 cans of the old cheap spray. Two quid a can that is. Absolute bag and you can't go wrong. But yeah, I'm not fussed too much how they look in terms of finish because they are going outside. So uh, yeah, let's get some paint on them, see how they look. Take this off, there we go. That's the second coat laid down. Oh, I'm pretty happy with that. That's a lot easier than spraying it by hand. Just got to flip it over. Whoop! Whoop! Just like that. And we'll get the other side done. And then we can go and start pre drilling holes. Ready to sit them up. But, uh, this is good, this is. It dries within like a couple of minutes because it's probably cheap shit spray paint, but I'm happy with that. Paint factory, two quid a can, 400 mils, dish bosh bash, oops, dish bosh bash, done. We're getting there folks, that's four down, four more to go. Thankfully the next four are slightly shorter because I am getting rather bored and tedious of making them. Catch you soon. Right, what we're doing now is just drilling the pilot holes through the slab, through the fiberglass and into the concrete or the dense block below. They're my originals that used to hold the net on. Could do a silicon in or CT1 in them really. But this doesn't get wet this area obviously because of the, the woof. Yeah. So I got my little handy vac down it. And then we're just gonna go in with the uh, the 10 mil drill bit. So they're M8 bolts. Um, Get out of focus. I'm going to go two mil slightly larger. Two mil larger. Make sure it fits. Right. So there's one of the holes drilled, hoovered out. Just bought a test bolt down to check that it fits. So what we're going to do, we're going to slide that in there. Nice. So this one I'm most nervous about. So that's my point to drill. I mean these are concrete slabs, they're not slate or anything, so I'm hoping it'll be alright. I'm gonna go in with a small pilot hole first. It's not good news. Bloody fantastic news. Even a little fly came out of the watch. But yeah, so that one's drilled. That one's drilled so we can get this side on now. Thinking I've got wonky bits. Right. 
I was going to put some red bits on it, but that would look really tacky compared to the rest of the pond. So, black on black on brown with a little bit of red. A little bit of red. So now I've just got these. So I want to split the front in two ticks without falling over. So I'm going to split the front into three. So there'll be one, two, and then this one will just be a simple lift out. So it won't actually be fixed to anything. What it will do is just sit on top of the timber, or roughly sit on top of the timber. Oh, the pie. Look at that. Look at the weather. Look. Fucking freezing cold and damn. Look at the. Look how dank the garden looks. It's depressing, isn't it? But we have a pond. So yes, where was I? So yeah, this one would just be a slight out one. Annoyingly, I've got a little bit over in the corner to do. I'm actually going to fix that to this one, so that'll all be part of one. And then I've just got one to go across the back. And then we are job to good on. I measured this one, but I can't remember what it was, so I've got to go back and do it again. All right, it is freezing bloody cold. I'm freezing cold. Who did the painting? Who did the painting really badly? Come on, own up. Yep, caught red air, didn't I? Right, hopefully, hang on, let me take this mask off. Hopefully you can hear me. So we're down to the last four to paint. Been hanging around, so my little local dealer, paint dealer, not drug dealer. So I finally got my satin black in. The reason why I waited for my local dealer is because eight quid in screw fix, 11 quid in B&Q, similar in Wix's, £2.50 trade. Fucking ridiculous. So, uh, yeah, we're just cracking on. So we've done one. Uh, let's have three coats this side, actually. So we're going to flip it over in a minute, do the bottom and the face. And that's another one ready to go over. Jobs are good. I kid you not. Whew. Poor oh, smells in here. It's all in my beard. I finally finished painting them. Do you know what? I just realised who I look like. For those of you that have watched Jaws. Shit. Bonjour. Look. It's cold. Oh, look. Oh, no, look. Obviously forgotten to turn the hose off. Oops. That's right. Head's having a dump. But job in hand for today. Got to get these jump guards a finitoed. So we're going to brace the cold. We're going to crack on with it. Yep, yeah, that's my dog. There is actually ice by the pond. Look! It's getting that cold. Thankfully the battery shower is still going. Oh, down here. I've got everything with me. I've got to move this bamboo. This is going to be the hardest one. So to get this one done, I have to scale the, uh, the sides of the pond, which is a bit of a pain. But, uh, I won't be filming that in case I fall in. Not a good day if I do. Fire all right. Cracking on, you'll see that in the next video. But yeah, it's all a bit quiet really. I don't like it. But alas, let's get these done so they look nice, eh? Kid you not. X marks the last spot of doing these poxy things. Look at that, look. 20 mil the other way, I wouldn't have had to drill it. But alas, that is the last one. I will show you shortly. Kid you not. We're finished. Ah. Pain in the arse, but I am chuffed with how they've come out. So all the way around now gives me a 350 mil upstand. Oh, so I'm trying to break through. A 350 mil upstand at the front. Obviously, to be fair, the only bit I'll ever take off is this front panel. Unless I'm doing maintenance, all I've got on this is uh, just some little, it's just for class, so this whole piece can be lifted out. Oops, a bit of paint come up. A bit thick. Yeah, that. So it goes. I was. I've got. A, so I've given a little nod to the old Asian theme with a little bit of red. I've got little bits of red on the pond. 
Okay, what does that mean? Hey, come on, subscribe. Thank you. A little bits of red, but I didn't want too much. Too much becomes too tacky, I think. You know, I'm not in Japan. I'm in Sussex. Wish I was in Japan. I've always around that, there we go. I'm absolutely over the moon. So, what I'm gonna do is, let's just quickly run through things here. So, the timber was scrap. It was stuff that I had off my covers already. So, in theory, that was free. The screws I already had. I spent 35 quid on spray paint. And then just a bit of my time. And that was it. I think I had to buy two lengths of 4.8. So that's about 15 quid. So total on the screen now of what this has cost. I did look at glass ones. And glass is all very good. And they look lovely. But I'm not a rich man. We're not a rich channel. We have to beg, steal and borrow and do things ourselves. But, walking around now, this isn't the paint that's funny, it's, um, it's where the FOSS was. Looking around now, a sense of satisfaction. You know, I could have just bought acrylic or glass and some, some up stands and it would have looked, they do look real nice. But, we've done this ourselves. We don't get no better than that. So, anything I've got to do is move my little Chinese hut and my wagon. We're going to go over there, Chinese huts though where it is, but move around a bit, and then I'm done. But yeah, for this week, that is it. I'm going to go and warm up a bit now. That's what it looks like. So, hang on, action shot. Here we go. I have to do this to roll. Oh. But that's enough buggering around. Sun's out, lovely. I'm gonna go and like I say warm up. So Trident competition is running in the background still. Um, we'll be back either midweek or next weekend. I got a wicked fry update actually. So you've seen snippets of it in this video, but um, there's been lots going on with the fry decisions that I've had to make. Um, but yeah, I think that's all. Have a good weekend. Normally I'll say tomorrow's Monday. Oh, it is when this video goes out, but actually today's Saturday and I've got Monday off work. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, best wishes to everyone, and we'll see you next time. All right, take care now. Goodbye.